In this first video, we're going to see how to find the volume of a large prism in the form of a steel girder. This is the question we're going to answer. A steel girder has measurements in centimetres as shown on the cross-sectional diagram. The girder is 2 metres long. Part A. What's the volume of this steel girder? And Part B. If steel has a density of 8 grams per cubic centimetre, what is the mass of the girder? in kilograms. Let's move this information to the top of the diagram to give us room for our working. Firstly, you will recognise that this shape is a prism, of course, because its cross-section is the same all the way through the girder, and you'll remember that the volume of a prism is the area of the end multiplied by the length. The first thing we have to do, therefore, is to find the area of the end, and in this case we can divide the cross-section into three rectangles. The top one is 36 by 12 centimetres. The middle one is 12 by 12 centimetres. And the bottom one is the same as the top one, 36 by 12 centimetres. So let's label them A, B and C respectively. The area of shape A is 36 times 12, which is 432 square centimetres. The area of shape B is 12 times 12, which is 144 square centimetres. And the area of shape C is the same of that of shape A, so that's 36 times 12, which is 432 square centimetres as well. And notice, by the way, how I'm writing in the units as I go. The total cross-sectional area is therefore 432 plus 144 plus 432, which is 1,008 square centimetres. Before we go on to find the volume of the girder, there's one thing we should notice, and that is that the length is given in metres whereas all the other measurements were given in centimetres, something you must always watch out for in this type of GCSE question. So we write the length as 200 centimetres, not 2. The volume is therefore 1008 multiplied by 200, which is 201,600 cubic centimetres. So that's part A dealt with. The mass is the volume multiplied by the density. This is obvious really, if one cubic centimetre has a mass of 8 grams, then 201,600 cubic centimetres must have a mass of 201,600 multiplied by 8 grams. So the mass is 201,600 multiplied by 8, which is 1,612,800 grams. But the question asks for the mass in kilograms. As there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram, we need to divide this number by 1,000 to convert it to kilograms, and that gives us 1,612.8 kilograms. And so that's the answer to part B. Now, although it doesn't ask for it in the question, it would be interesting to see what this is in tonnes. And remember, there are 1,000 kilograms in a tonne, so this is 1.6128 tonnes. So please don't try lifting one of these girders on your own. You can see now why builders use large cranes to move them around. And that begs a very interesting question. How do the men and women who lived at Stonehenge lift those enormous stone slabs vertically to form the Stonehenge structure itself? They were a lot cleverer than we normally give them credit for, you know. 